Hi, my name is Lauren Gott and I'm a makeup artist. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple of looks uh, that you've seen on the red carpet from our Gossip Girl, girls Leighton Meester and Blake Lively. So today I'm going to start with the look that I've seen on Blake Lively. It's um, a little more natural uh, and very glowing skin. So I'll walk you through it. To start, I'm going to um, put a neutral sort of sheen color on the lid, a pearlized color. I've already prepped the skin. You can already see a sort of glow. And I'm going to use a pale uh, purple to find right in the crease. I do not want to be too heavy handed for this look. And then I like to focus a little color right towards the outer edge of the eye to create a sort of almond shape. Add just a bit of charcoal as well, just a tad more intensity. We want an eye that is uh, very diffused and soft. The trick with liquid liner, which is what I'm going to use here, is uh, a wedged, very thin wedge brush. And this takes some of us a long time to figure out, but it works the best. Practice makes perfect here. So right along the lash line I'm working, I started with the outer edge and working in towards the inner part of the eye. And the next thing I'm going to do is slightly slope it up, and what I do is lift the, the eye so it's a bit of a cat, but not really. Fall right on the outside edge and then fainter with the color as I go in. And then I can join that color from the top to the bottom and create that slope so it sort of sinks everything together. Good black mascara. What I like to do is wiggle it in there right along the lash line. It really helps distribute the mascara along the lashes. I use a nice pinky color of the cheek. I'm going to use a big brush and focus right on the apple of the cheek. This is a very fresh, youthful, sort of mimics childhood. You know when a, someone comes in from running around outside, they have the little rosy cheeks. But for this, I'm going to use a moonlight color. It looks very white. This is what you see on the red carpet often. It's beautiful glow on the cheekbones and a lot of times on the collar but on the skin. So you want the light to bounce. It's called Luna. Actually from MAC. I love this product. This is our look. Next look is a red carpet look that Leighton Meester has worn. It's a sheer blue, midnight blue eye and a very bright, vibrant red, reddish orange mouth. And I'm really just going to go lightly in there just to get a nice wash of color. It's like, it's like watercolor almost. I'm going to drag it down. It almost creates a sort of Viva look. Crease of the eye. I'm going to curl my eyelashes a little bit. I'm a huge fan of eyelash curler. So mascara, looking down. I'm going to do a similar to our first look, almost to have the lashes almost clumped together in a way. So you can wiggle it again, quite a few coats of mascara. Just keep on layering it on. Create a bit of a doll effect. Lips are moisturized. Not too much. And rub a little bit of it off. I'm going to focus right on the, the base of the lip first. And then I'm going to draw her bow. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in a tad with this uh, lip pencil, and then we'll add the color on top. I like sometimes using two colors of red because it really creates dimension. If you start with a darker red, blot it, and then use a lighter red on top, you create a real uh, beautiful dimension to the lip. It makes them appear fuller and richer color. Kiss, bite. What I'll do is use a little powder right on top of this and you press it in, believe it or not, powder is getting through. And what we're doing is making that lip foolproof. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do a cheek. See, this is not transferring much anymore, so I'm gonna go directly to the tube. I like to use a little bit of that to complement the lip color, but putting it on the cheek, just to get that beautiful little rose color right there keeps everything in tune, or else you're gonna look washed out with this look, you know, the lip is so bright. Pretty much there. This is Leighton Meester's look. 